Here's the field for the 10th race, second division of the Mant Scooter Pacing Series. Number one is Desert Sign. Owned by Eminem Harness Racing and Pat Lachance, Mike Lachance, the driver. Number two is Tayo. Owned by Kathleen and Arnold Marola with Ron Pierce. Number three, Manly Crew. Owned by M&L of Delaware, Luke Wallet. Number four, Larry Columbia Jr.'s Wicked Sensation with Steve Smith. Number five is RJ's Wild Card. Eric Ledford up for owner Ron Mario. Number six, Bullville Ultra Campbell for the Caravani Farms. Number seven, Sudden Panic, all by R. James Shive with Danielle Dubay. Number eight is Scratched Sick. Number nine is Dragon World. He's owned by the Hyatt Holdings, the Andre Farms, Millard, and Maxwell with Dave Miller. And number 10, Go One More, all by Frank Cardinal and Carlo Palacino. George Brennan is in the sulky. It's post time for the 10th race, 2nd Division of the Matt Scooter Pacing Series. They're all in behind the gate, and here they come. And they're off Bullville Ultra, first out for the early lead. RJ's wildcard wrestled back hard early for Ledford. Go one more, sprints from the outside. Desert sign using the rail, and Tayo has come out racing in fourth. In fifth, as they pace around the turn, sudden panic. Manly crew is sixth. Dragon World floated out of there. He moves up now sixth. Looks like he has room to drop in if he so chooses. Eighth is Wicked Sensation. RJ's wild card at the tail of the field is the trailer. And Bullville Ultra has the best early speed. He cuts the quarter at a comfortable 28 and 2. Desert Sign is two and a half lengths from him. A gapper in second. Go one more. Landed on the pylons third. Tayo is racing in fourth. Sudden panic. Two lengths behind him is fifth. Dragon World is patient from six, looking for him to go as Manly Crew waiting for his cover. Up the rail, Wicked Sensation. RJ's wild card stacked up on the outside, and Brennan and Go One More hustling hard for the lead, and it's Go One More who makes the top. Bullville Ultra now yields for second. Desert Sign is third at the half and 57 and four. Up on the outside, Sudden Panic is trying to move up on the outside first over. Tayo to his inside. Dragon World with excess cover right now. And now Desert Sign flips to the outside from third. And he's quickly attacking. Go one more. Desert Sign paces right past to grab the lead for Lachance. Go one more is now racing in second. Up on the outside, Sudden Panic third. Dragon World still using his cover. He has six lengths to make up three quarters 126 and three and desert sign has the jump on everyone here at the top of the stretch and desert sign is kicked out now to a four length lead sudden panic on the outside second go one more is third dragon world is fumbling a bit in fourth rj's wild card from way back toward the outside it's desert sign at the edge of the tote board go one more under left-handed pressure and sudden panic closing desert sign go one more charging up Desert sign held on. Go one more. Just missed in second. And sudden panic third. One fifty four and three. A driving triple tonight for Mike Lachance, who scores here behind number one Desert Sign, Life Sign three year old out of Cactus Flower by Jate Lobel, on by M and M Harness Racing and Pat Lachance of New York and New Jersey. Second training victory for Pat Lachance and a triple for Mike. Desert Sign, first win of the year, 154 and 3. Career best effort by him. Tenth race, the Mac Kelly Realty Corporation event. Number one, Desert Sign pays 1220, 640, 540. Second, number 10, go one more, 24 even, 1540. And third, number seven, Sudden Panic, paying 740. 110 exact to 394.20. 110.7 try, $4,998.86.